do you feel as though that um, there will be more research opportunities to understand um, the comparison between the two in terms of disease progression and where people are along or um, different states of Parkinson's disease? Because obviously, like you just said, there are some people who are living perfectly normal daily lives who think to themselves, I don't want this tube in me and that I'm fine. And that the second I'm going to have this, I'm going to be, you know, put into a next box or category of some sorts when in reality, it's just something to help you out kind of thing. The thing is, Parkinson's is a progressive disease. No, more, no matter what we do, we still can't slow it or cure it. So people are going to gradually get worse. The challenges in the later stages, the, the problems the Parkinson's patients fail, we cannot help with levodopa. So like, for example, dementia, uh, you know, hallucinations, falling, freezing. I mean, some of these things we cannot help with levodopa. So the thing is, no matter what, we can help their on and off and the dyskinesias to some extent, but it is the fall, the dementia, the psychosis, which becomes a bigger issue down the road. Now, what does the future hold for the pump is, is what you are getting at. And, and the thing is, there is, as I said, resistance to a tube that is put in the stomach uh, because of surgery, et cetera, that I told you about. So the next generation, which is in clinical trials right now, is more using subcutaneous levodopa. So to me, if I look at it, unless something changes as far as safety goes, a subcutaneous route is gonna be much more acceptable because we know with diabetic pumps, which are subcutaneous, people use it all the time. So here you don't need surgery. You just stick a little needle in your belly. The pump is still outside. It's a much smaller pump. So to me, those are things that are gonna be uh, the future as far as infusion therapy is concerned. As far as long-term with the pump, we are looking at other issues as far as uh, how much the patient like it. Uh, are there other symptoms that get better? Is the fatigue better? Are they doing more activities? And we had some other posters uh, at this session, but we do know infusion therapy gives a patient much more even control of their symptoms and they do better. Uh, it is just that they don't like the, the abdominal part, and, and that's why we are trying to bypass it. But to me, infusion therapy is going to be around for a long time.